Hello everybody. I am attempting to make this video for the third time because I keep having issues with my sound. My microphone is messing up and turning off on me. Um, but that issue aside, I want to show you. I've been playing this game as a solo player, PAX Day. Um, it's very difficult and the first thing I recommend is you see my hot bar down there on the bottom right I recommend filling that up with things that stun shields with a shield bash um, this two-handed great mall uh, maces morning stars and you can swap between your different weapons and use their abilities you can stun lock things and kill them keeping them stunned and even then you're gonna wanna have food see I got three food buffs above my health there which is here in my inventory you're gonna want to have food buffs all the time you're gonna always you're gonna always want food food is huge in this game um, for a solo player especially but anyways I wanted to get into this to show you that as a solo player you can do this but um, your hotbar loaded up before you have any spells because it's gonna be very hard to get spells in this game so before you have any spells load your hotbar up with stuff to stun lock things then I'm gonna show you how I got started with this. So Prometheus server, see there's the Karis Wildlands, so you know where I'm at. Up here, Bronner. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but whatever. Um, so here in Bronner, there's the big home stone right there with that crown on it. So that's kind of where you spawn in at if you choose this location. So in the northeast up there is a bunch of like human guys, paladins, um, type of characters like they got some mages and stuff but yeah anyways the up there is where I got the two healing spells that I have and down here where I'm at which you can see my little blue cone you know to show my little player arrow um, this is the Zebians 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 I, I don't know what that how they're pronounced but this is where you can also get mesmerized so let me show you these spells. So down here, the spells I got, Mesmerize 1, Divine Remedy 1, and Blessed Renewal 1. So first, I and I got all these by myself. I did all these solo. Um, I started with the humans. They're a lot easier to kill than these Zebian dudes. Um, I got the. I actually just got the Blessed Renewal this morning. I was, for the last couple days, getting by with just Divine Remedy 1. Um which was a game changer which is the headpiece I'm wearing so I got the stone to learn the spell to craft this headpiece cap of reassurance and before I got that my hotbar was filled up with stunning weapons and just having this little bit of healing ability may makes things so different and so much better it is this game is so difficult when it comes to healing so when you get a couple of healing spells, it's huge. So I recommend getting these healing spells as soon as possible, especially as a solo player. It, it, they're just essential. If you're lucky and you get Fireball and Mesmerize, then, you know, that's probably the uh, easiest way to cheese this game because you can Fireball somebody and then keep them Mesmerized until the fire uh, burning effect kills them. And... I don't have the fireball yet. I don't know where to get it. I, I've looked for it, kind of. I've wandered all over this map, and I haven't gotten lucky um, to get it. But I wanted to show you that even without the fireball cheese, you can still do this. Because you can farm these guys. You can farm those humans up there. You can get these two healing spells. And then these Zebians, and you can get mesmerized. Um, and then once you have these... You can then you can move things around on your hotbar to be a little bit different, like I have now. Um, now I just have it set up the way I want it, and I want to show you how to do this solo. We're gonna pull this guy. We're, we're rubber banding a bit. That's okay. I'm gonna throw mesmerize. Normally I would have had my hot, my healing over time, this ability, I would have normally had that going, but I didn't really think about it. So, run, and mesmerize. 
now we can switch to a different weapon and its abilities are on cooldown. See that? Now we mesmerize again. He's gonna probably hit me. Yep, we got a hit off. Now we heal. Even though we have the hot going, always heal all the way. Switch to the Great Maul. Just go ahead and wait for that power attack to come back. And now we'll finish it. Ooh, silver ore. I need a lot more silver, so that's cool. And that's how easy this can be once you have a couple of spells. Mesmerize apparently it doesn't have diminishing returns. Um, you can spam it over and over and over again. So just like I did, stun lock a guy, and then when you need a minute, mesmerize. Back up, heal, wait, and then when you're ready, re-engage, and then rinse and repeat. And before I had mesmerize, because I this guy I got it from a dude up there. From a boss up in that building, I got mesmerized. I got actually two different mesmerizes, um, but it came from that guy. Um, so I was doing this with just healing and stun locking, and then once I got mesmerized, I didn't need to have so many different stun locking abilities because mesmerize was basically taking all of that. <laughs> You know, the place of all of that, so. Come on. This can sometimes be a good puller, too. See that? We pulled this dude. Come on, guy. Get out of there. Gonna whack him. It's gonna miss, because of course it's gonna miss. with this game um, they work they are working on it they're working very hard on this game I know that but it is still in very early stages so you're gonna have some of these issues and that's that's okay with me because I have been loving this game but see look at this look how easy you can do this with solo you can, you can play this game solo. Look at that, see? Just a couple of healing spells makes all the difference. 